Welcome to Brawlhalla. We got Hardy MJ on the tarot. It's definitely, you know, one of his comfort picks. I don't know how much he's been playing it as of recently. And we got uh, Sandstorm, of course, on the Mako. Well, not of course. This does surprise me a bit. Mako did receive some nerfs, but we were just talking about the Mako. Maybe he wanted to bust out the Mako. Goes for the slide charge down signature. No really big punish coming out from Hardy. MJ there does pick up the sideline Nair on Axe. Picks up the sideline Sair. Sandstorm was trying to use a weapon throw to kind of cover that, but it did not hit him. And now Sandstorm getting hit by the neutral sig on Hammer. Spot dodging the down signature, almost frame perfectly, getting that D-like ground pound punish. Playing it nice and patient, waiting for the weapon. No conversion off of that GC D-light, and he does get his first dog taken by Hardy MJ on the Taros by Hammer Sir. Yeah, and with that being said, I mean, Hardy's doing really well with the axe so far, but now we have currently Sandstorm with those guitars. And going from Greatsword to guitars, changing the playstyle that he has. Oh, oh man. Okay. It changes the gameplay here, and this is what we were referring to. Right now, Sandstorm not going to Hardy and Jay's first stock, making this even. Very nice play, yeah, uh, just off the bottom, just like that. Hardy oh. has a massive neutral oh. into downer, into another downer. Got it. Oh my gosh. Sandstorm got Terrorist, bro. He, he got the conversion <laughs> off the neutral sig. It was over. They're on small brawl haven. Hardy MJ with a massive one stock lead over the best player in the world, just like that. But he does have great sword getting this three piece. They are on small brawl haven. These Mako Sigs, these great sword finishers are going to kill extremely early. Very beautiful spot dodge. Doesn't have enough room on the stage there to hit that finisher. Backs off Hardy MJ on the wall. Catching him coming back to stage with that side light. The down air connects. No conversion. Another down air. No conversion. Hardy MJ still alive. The reverse sir putting Sandstorm in orange on one stock. Fully charges their down sig. But the great sword sir bouncing off the stage is still not going to KO. Yeah, and I'll be, I'll be realistic here. I mean, Hardy's got the lead, but Sandstorm comes in with a guitar side air knock into Hardy MJ's second stock. Um, but we'll have to see overall how it goes. Hardy right now with the falling side air hit onto Sandstorm and gets the jump side air knockout. Hardy MJ coming in with the, with the win on that round. So we're going to round two. What is pizza short gonna choose he's gonna be choosing still mako he's i guess he's gonna mess around we'll have to see and i'll be realistic here hardy got a phenomenal combo on this answer if he can do that again which is gonna be very difficult but he can if he can do it again he might be able to go and win this round again as well yeah we got game two here same pick same map everything you know like you said, he did get that insane combo. Caught Sandstorm slipping with the neutral sig. Got the follow-up after. To see Hardy MJ hit something like that again on Sandstorm would be, like, absolutely mind-blowing because I think, you know, he might be a bit more ready for that this time. But anything is possible. Sandstorm kind of just chilling, waiting there on the ledge for something to happen. Hardy MJ jumping up, hitting him with that great sword recovery. Which, you know, it does good damage. The force is not really there anymore after the nerf, but that is some good damage build up. The three piece, as you see, Hardy in red already. Hasn't really even hit him too much necessarily. Hardy with that end light swap over the hammer, looking for the dash jump. Sarah doesn't find it. Sandstorm looking for that read off the neutral light, but the reverse stomp Sarah almost killing already. Looking for that recovery, trying to get him off the edge. Hardy MJ making it back to the stage, throwing out that GCD sig just like that in front of his face, and it connects into the recovery, priming the greatsword. Both are looking for the kills here. Three stock oh. the side sig is a big one coming out from Hardy MJ. He's in the dark red hammer side sig is 100% going to take him down to his second stock, being Sandstorm. Yeah, and with that being said, Sandstorm comes back with a vengeance and grabs that great sword and does a knockout of Hardy MJ's first stock, making this two stocks all. But I think one thing Hardy's got to consider is the signature set with Mako, because you can see that uh, Sandstorm was using that great sword down signature to his advantage a little bit, and he doesn't want to pull 
uh what originally rage ran into earlier against Coslix, which was a failure to understand or not to take into consideration the signature set of the character right um because that can make or break a set um but right now sandstorm with the lovely hit there hardy mj hardy mj oh getting three beast gosh oh he is, lord he will with that. he'll take you off stage he'll hit you with some sort of dare he'll throw his weapon straight down catch the fast fall and then after that you know your options are basically gone so it's at that point is basically his choice on how he wants to kill you goes for the gc down sig covering so much area and he does have the stock lead now onto hardy mj goes for the another slide down sig and Hardy MJ is really good at, you know, not getting hit by things off stage, but Sansom just using that SIG so well, man. He is using that SIG so well, the three-piece finisher. Hardy not able to avoid the splash. The GC neutral light in the air throws the weapon down, sets up for the edge guard. Doesn't get it though, the recovery almost killing Hardy MJ in the dark red. Even the hammer Sarah not killing Sandstorm second stock quite yet. Both of them playing off stage and the guitar Nair bopping him on the head, spiking him to the bottom, taking game number two in the ways of Sandstorm. Now, I will say this though, if we go back to the second stock in our minds here, and we like between Sandstorm and Hardy, Hardy used all of his options on the second stock, where Sandstorm saw it and just took straight advantage with it. Came in with a three-piece combo knockout. So Hardy's also gotta consider the amount of options he has uh, and can't be really going in like in a risk it for the biscuit type scenario against like Sandstorm because Sandstorm will read all your options, especially towards in a scenario like that. So as we go into round three, we have the same characters going to the same map and we'll have to see how everything goes. Hardy MJ picking up that ax off the rip. Sandstorm with the guitars, running at him with the down sig, using that drift that Signature has to just W key at him, does connect too, looking for these nares, maybe trying to punish Hardy's floaty play style, and Hardy not, he, I don't think he's hit him once, he's completely fresh stock, looking for the splash side sig, looking for that tidal wave off the right side of the stage, doesn't find it, picks up the grounded recovery though, there we go, some sort of unarmed conversion D-Light recovery, I believe, coming out from Hardy. He is on the Taros, though, so even those small hits like that are going to rack up pretty quickly. But another down signature, I think he has 100% signature accuracy with that great sword down. Say goes for it again off the two-piece conversion, looking for some sort of maybe dodge and spot dodge, but... Oh! MJ, what? Was that GC sidelight on the stage? Beautiful finisher coming out from Sandstorm. It picked up a lot more vertically than I thought it would, but a very unique option coming out from Sandstorm, taking Hardy MJ to his second stock. And he wasn't even on the platform there, man. It was a gravity cancel. <laughs> you see, it was, that was a little bit nuts, but right now, I mean, currently Hardy with a one. Oh, Hardy with a one stock disadvantage here. He's got to come back some way, gets that two piece, and now Sandstorm is down to that second stock. But now Hardy has to go ahead and build his damage up again. And he's got to be realistically very careful of what Sandstorm is throwing out. Okay, there we go. As you say that, he is waiting. Sandstorm getting a little greedy with the GC down sig. Probably not caring at all. He's landed the majority of them. And lands another one. As you see, doesn't care. Holds it down that time. Gets a little bit of the charge version on it. A little bit more damage. A little bit more force on that. I'm not sure. It, it might still be true if you hit the initial part of the down sig and, and hold it a little bit. So, like, other signatures might still be true. I'm not sure. Gets the side light D light, I believe. Great sword is so fast, it's hard to tell sometimes. But the recovery off the top, taking Hardy MJ down to his final stock, throws away his great sword, picks up the weapon. It's another great sword. I don't know if Hardy MJ is ready for this great sword action. We'll have to see. He is on the axe, fishing for these recoveries. Gets the sideline, looking for the read. Not able to find that Hardy with the turnaround neutral light on the axe. Doesn't catch the landing. Back to stage. Hardy burning all of his options. The weapon throw in Sandstorm's face. Nice spot dodge on the downer. Hardy with the falling nair. Sandstorm with a nice little two-piece on the great sword. Oh. Hardy with the downer. Almost killing off the top. Not going to be quite yet. 
But Hardy's gonna have to find this kill soon, or it is not gonna be looking good. And then down oh. is gonna be it. Pretty quick for a two dex Taros. Yeah, I'll definitely agree here. And this is a very, very big deal for Hardy because if Hardy loses this, he's at a disadvantage in this type of scenario. Now with with Sandstorm going a bit more guitars, being a little bit more aggressive, Hardy's got to use his hammer to his advantage and try to use some type of grapple or or something. Actually throws the weapon away to go ahead and go a little bit unarmed against Sandstorm right now. He is definitely holding down the unarmed, getting some hits in. Sandstorm kind of just hunting him down, throwing out these recoveries. Hits the sideline neutral light, waits for the reaction. Hardy MJ immediately going to the wall. Coming back to the stage with the Sair. Caught him off guard with the Sair. Try to outspace it, but did get hit by it a bit. The sideline connects. Gets the down there, looks for the dash. Down sig. Some sort of read. Hardy MJ tagging him up, getting this damage. This Oh my goodness, but the side say Capri Sun water splashes oid onto Hardy MJ and He's not done quite yet because Hardy did win a game. This is best of five He can still turn this around. Will it be possible AJ? I don't know Hardy's got to really find a way to not get hit from the signature set that Sandstorm has here so we'll have to see. I know a lot of people in chat are going crazy for Sandstorm right now. Uh, but we'll have to see though. going into game four. We do have Sandstorm with the lead. As we go ahead and get into game four here. Hardy trying to go ahead and weapon starve uh, Sandstorm a little bit. Doesn't want him to get realistically a great sword again. Wants to try to take advantage. But I mean, the Sandstorm's on arms kind of going a little bit crazy right now. Yeah, that was crazy. Off the rip, Hardy MJ was trying to keep him off a weapon. The Sandstorm avoided the weapon and, and just literally walked at Hardy. Just literally walked right at him, didn't do anything. And both of them tagging each other up. The neutral light connects from Hardy's axe. The side light nair? Another nair? Wow, okay. That is pretty crazy because he's in red just like that. Sandstorm almost getting the conversion, but neither of them can... <laughs> Hardy MJ with the GC D light, but swapping over the hammer, getting the neutral light will get the kill. Yeah, and that was definitely a very, very interesting knockout there coming out of Hardy MJ, making sure that he uses his range to his advantage, but he has to be careful as well against Sandstorm spot dodges. Uh, and it's going to be very interesting to see how he really takes Sandstorm's guitars here. Sandstorm coming in with his guitars, landing that falling side air knockout with them, and making his two stocks off. Hardy definitely looking good, holding it down against the Sandstorm. Gets the hammer side light. Sandstorm dodging at the Sair. Gets the Nair on the greatsword. He's definitely he, he's winning neutral a lot with this greatsword, but I think Hardy is like mixing up his dodges pretty well. He's not really able to get these like really big combos that he's able to get on Greatsword. And on this map, too, absolutely detrimental. But the Stomp Sayer coming out from Hardy MJ, taking Sandstorm down to his last stock. And Hardy MJ is, like, not even... Maybe is that orange? I don't know. Light or dark yellow, light orange. That neutral air will definitely put him more into the orange. Another neutral air connects from Sandstorm's Katars. But Hardy MJ definitely kind of trading these hits, which he can afford to do. He is up a stock... The D-Light recovery connects, swapping over to the Pony Hammer. The GC D-Light is not quite there. The ground Pound recovery coming out from Sandstorm, taking him down to his last stock, going absolutely dummy on the MJ. It is crazy. Dude, that was absolutely a phenomenal combo coming out of Sandstorm. Hardy having an advantage here. He needs to go ahead and use it against Sandstorm and go and knock him out of that final stock. Hardy landing that dare. Tries to land that second dare and a jump side air, but oh, he used all his options. Sandstorm took advantage of it. And right now, Hardy's on that ledge, dealing with a really close one-on-one -on -one against Sandstorm. Can he get the weapon? Can he knock out Sandstorm here to go to game five? It's literally anyone's oh! game in the side sig on Taros takes it. 2-2 two, two in the set. 
Oh, no shot. No shot. We are seeing a Magyar swap coming out from Sandstorm. Is this real? A, a Magyar swap? No freaking way. Game 5 Magyar swap. What? You know why he's doing it, though? The signature set. I think the it? signature set with a hammer. Three, two. Maybe. I want. I definitely want to see him just go crazy with the Magyar Sigs. I, I'm very interested to see how this goes. Yeah, absolutely. And we're going to go ahead and get into round five here, ladies and gentlemen. Round five. Man. This is going to be very, very close between the players here. And this is, you know, the best player that we're talking about. This is Sandstorm in a game five. And Hardy MJ has this lead. Gets the axe. Picks up the downsig Sandstorm in the red. And he's also, uh, I believe, on nine defense. So getting him into red means he's already been hit by a lot of hard hitting moves. Which means Hardy oh! MJ is doing something good. And the neutral light taking Sandstorm down to his second stock. Hardy MJ looking pretty comfortable on three stocks. Can Sandstorm bring this back? But what the hell? I don't know. We'll have to see. But right now, Hardy is in the red of that first stock right now. Is he trying to mess around with Hardy here? We'll have to see. But right now, we got Hardy with the dare. Knocking Sandstorm into the yellow. Gets that unarmed silent. Misses the unarmed recovery, though. Right now, Hardy. Keep picking up that axe. Tries to land a dare. Sandstorm missing their own attack. Double dare there by Hardy. And this is a very good option for Hardy. He lands it there. Oh, the down lane there. It's a there. Oh He's going goodness. crazy. <laughs> is he going to get the Hardy knockout? MJ. Oh, he goes. Oh. Hardy MJ. Hardy oh is going nuts God. right now. Absolutely crazy. The two stock lead onto Sandstorm. Hardy really just looking like he was like heavily abusing the axe into hammer matchup. He was using those D lights so well. He was using those nares so well. Sandstorm literally just could not land. He could not play the game. And Hardy was zoning him out so incredibly well. Getting those kill confirms Ooh, when he okay. needs to. And Sandstorm finally taking Hardy's first stock while sitting on his last in yellow. So even though you know he is pr1 it is very difficult to bring these kinds of games back and hardy is still tagging oh. him up he does get the dodge read gets the conversion looks for the neutral sig not able to find that hardy with the turnaround sidelight on the hammer avoiding that sarah would have sent him off stage sandstorm with the double and there's three piece finisher evening up the stocks no shot no shot this is insane both of them on one stocks now Sandstorm oh. does have a lot of defense to work with, but Teros has so much strength. Oh. Gets the down air, and Sandstorm is in the red. He gets the neutral. Goes in for the weapon, weapon starve. He's got no weapon. Take advantage of it, Hardy. Misses the jump side air. Oh, misses the neutral. Sandstorm right now having hammer. Hardy needs to use that hammer to his advantage. Gets the, oh, gets the one lead up into an, a combo, but misses it. Oh, he's dropping it. Oh, no. Will Sandstorm come back here? Oh, oh gets the two piece. No come on, Hardy. No this could be way. close. Gets a dare. Picks up the axe. Oh, no my way. gosh. <laughs> I'm on the edge of my seat right now. Going for the stomp off stage. Looking for oh. the reverse. No, he went, went for it. Still not going to kill. Avoids the weapon throw. The oh! Coming out from Sandstorm.